Hey, everybody. So how does the Diet Coke Mentos kind of like geyser reaction? Well, how does it work? Well, first off, when you when I say reaction, I'm not saying chemical reaction. It's, it's not a chemical reaction. Nothing is being made. There's no products and reactions. Everything that was in the beginning is also at the end. So do know that it's, it's more of a physical change, okay? So, so first off, Diet Coke has carbonation in it. So there's literally CO2 that's jammed into the liquid, and it's, it's a solution. But when it comes to carbonation, the CO2 really doesn't want to be there. That's if you, like, shake up, like, a... You know, Coca-Cola, it goes everywhere. If you leave like, you know, a two liter open at nighttime, you know, it's going to go flat. The CO2, it's, it's jammed in there. It doesn't really want to be there. While other solutions, a mixture that's even throughout, it's called the solution, by the way. Other solutions kind of hold together a lot better. But when it comes to like forced gas in a liquid, once again, it doesn't really want to be there. And that's why soda goes flat if you like leave things open overnight. So anyways, when you drop in a Mentos or multiple Mentos, this is actually Mentos gum. That's all I had in the cabinet. Uh, I just want to share, the, be honest with you guys. But when it comes to Mentos, pretend like this is Mentos. On Mentos, these little divots and little like microscopic like little kind of like craters uh, and they're called nucleation sites. I'm going to put this down. And the nucleation sites, when they get dropped into the Diet Coke, is a place for that, that CO2 that's in the Diet Coke to go from being dissolved to go and turn into gas like immediately. So if you drop like a whole pack of Mentos, now you have all these Mentos in there, like probably like 10 of them or so, with all these little microscopic like craters called once again, nucleation sites. And that dissolved gas, that's that carbonation immediately released. And once again, when there's like 10 of them, you have an immediately release of all this gas like that. And that's what creates that, that Diet Coke uh, geyser once again, when the Mentos go in. So not a not a chemical change. You're just taking that CO2 that's inside of the Diet Coke and it gets released immediately from when they when when they, they contact that nucleation site on all those Mentos. And the reason why Diet Coke works so much better than like regular Coke is the sugar in the in the regular Coke kind of like uh, blocks the, the reaction or the, the physical change, actually the physical reaction, not the chemical reaction. So the Diet Coke works so much better. So once again, it's a physical change and it's nucleation sites on Mentos that release the CO2 that's in the carbonation of the Diet Coke. So hopefully that made sense and stay curious.